Introducing Peacock, the new free streaming service from NBC Universal. It's hit movies, current shows, live sports, trending bits, and timeless hits. And that's why you can't not watch. Peacock, watch for free, upgrade for more. Stream now at PeacockTV.com. Law and Order SBU streaming now. Blog Talk Radio. Hi, this is Jenny Walker, and welcome to Closet Conversations. Today I want to tell you about a fantastic show that I saw on Dumb Money Live TV. Now, what is Dumb Money Live TV? I found out about Dumb Money Live months and months and months ago when I was starting to take a really strong interest in the stock market and Tesla. And this company talks all about different stocks, ones that are trending, and their whole key to what they do is social arb trading, which means basically using what you notice is happening in the world to make decisions about the stock market. They really love to use Google Trends and things like that to make millions and millions of dollars in the stock market. And there's three men, uh, young guys, shall I say, uh, Chris Camillo, Dave Hansen, and Jordan McLean. This is a really wonderful group of guys. There's the low-key guy, the not-so-low-key guy, and then the really outgoing guy. Uh, lots of testosterone in this show, which is so fun to watch as a woman. And uh, they they have a great time. They just love having a wonderful trade and making money, and it's just so exciting to watch. And this show also has what's called a Discord group, which is a community you can join and talk about different topics topics related to stock. And in this Discord community, they encourage people to present to them stocks that they should talk about on their show. And two people, a Piton Keynes and the other gentleman, Thanasis, I can't pronounce his name, uh, were part of the Discord group, and they suggested they talk about Poshmark and provided, provided a report that was, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 pages long about all that was wonderful about Poshmark and why it's something that would be so great for them to talk about on their show. And they did, and this episode aired, uh, I think, a day or two ago. It's on Dumb Money Live TV on uh, YouTube. So you just search Dumb Money Live. They've got around 76,000 subscribers. Their other channel, Dumb Money, has, um, I think, around 100,000 subscribers, but they're affiliated. One is it's like the live show. Where you get to watch them in real time and participate in the chat and see the pre-show and like like the video and help them get it going. And the other one is basically edited after the fact. Uh, so right now, the episode is over an hour long. It's on Paul about Poshmark. And it's um, on Dumb Money Live TV. And what I thought was so great about this show is that it's so kind of adorable to listen to. <laughs> so these are a bunch of guys who, have, who who don't do anything with Poshmark. So they they were quite charmed by the things that all of us already know in the community about how we have a strong community and we, we do things together and how we go on YouTube and talk about our hauls and how to sell better and things like that. They just thought that was amazing. And it was very new to their ears and a new concept for them. Now, we know that uh, it's something that's been going on a long time or because we're entrenched in it. But if you think about it, someone who's finding out about Poshmark's community for the first time is going to be really taken back by what's going on there because it is a very, very full community. And people not only enjoy but are encouraged to talk about and learn from each other on how to work the Poshmark platform even better. So we're always improving, we're always learning, we're always growing. And everything that we do is just kind of new to their ears, but they they love it. I mean, they think that because they focus on social arb trading, which is essentially where you take notice of what's happening in the world, right? So if you go into the grocery store and there's no toilet paper, that tells you something about what's happening in the world. Or if you realize that, uh, you know, no one's at the movie theater or uh, restaurants are closed and how that impacts the world that we're in. Uh, We're not going out because of the virus or we're not traveling or airlines are shut down or, you know, all of these little bits and pieces they put together and watch 
and analyze and come up with ideas about stock trades, which is so really cool. And so I've learned a lot from these guys, and uh, they're very upfront about what they buy. Now, it's none of it's stock advice, just so you know. Officially, it's entertainment. This is all the disclaimers, just like this show is entertainment. But it's just you learn so much from how people think. And the most fascinating thing is how they certainly how they think about Poshmark. So in addition to this one-hour video where you can listen to what they've got to say about Poshmark related to the research that was provided from their Discord group, you can actually join the Discord group and see the research for yourself. And to do that, you just search Dumb Money uh, TV Discord, D-I-S-C-O-R-D, and it will take you right to it. And those Discord groups are a little hard to navigate, in my opinion. Um, I really was not even familiar with what they were until I joined theirs, and I'm still making my way through trying to figure out what the heck it is, but uh, it's vibrant. There's lots of great information there. We probably all heard about these, uh, these like the Reddit groups or Wall Street Bets and things like that. Well, this is, it's, you know, these Discord groups are very um, condensed group of people who are like-minded and want to talk about stocks. So in terms of posh, um, let me kind of give you an overview. I don't want to give the whole video away because I really encourage you to watch it. I encourage you to subscribe to their channel uh, because I have done previous podcasts about my purchasing Poshmark stock and things like that. And there have been some YouTube videos out there about people who bought with the IPO because we were able to as Poshmark sellers and then sold like the first day and made all this amazing profit. Um so there's all kinds of interesting information around stock out there. I think our community has been shy to talk about it. One, because most of the people who talk about the stock market are really well educated on it and can talk about things that the average person can't even formulate ideas about. And so that's why I haven't talked too much about it because even though I've worked in a brokerage firm, I don't um, know enough about how to analyze it in a way to present to another person my thoughts, I think, in a in a really good way. So I'm leaving it to the experts to do that. But for me, if you've been curious about Poshmark as not just a company and where it's headed as a seller, but as someone who has ever considered buying the stock, this is a really interesting way to get your head around where they're headed and where they're going. And in the video, people make a lot of um, – assumptions like they've one person's like oh Poshmark this is in the chat you know sells a bunch of crap and I'm chiming in going hey wait a minute I've sold two thousand dollars skirts on there it's not a bunch of crap it's a mix it's a mixture right um other people have had great experiences you know saying I know people who've sold six figures well I get it I'm about to hit six figures myself in sales so you know it's it's interesting to watch them analyze the different parts of the business and talk about what that means to them in terms of how they feel about the company in terms of buying or selling their stock. Again, this is not a stock recommendation. It's certainly uh, uh, if you want to learn how people think about companies and how they operate in terms of investing, this is a wonderful video to do that with. And I think one of the points that um, what I was not focused on and it doesn't mean it's not in the research. It's just I haven't read the research report yet. I'm having a hard time finding it in the Discord group, believe it or not. Um, but one of the things I thought was interesting is, and maybe was left out, is that when you think about where Poshmark is headed, the thing that's, that's the most exciting, in addition to the community and that people like interaction, and someone made the point about hybrids, uh, it's a hybrid between the personal interaction you get in a store and shopping online is kind of where a posh market in the middle. I thought that was brilliant, but that we are not yet cross border yet. And to me, that is the key for Poshmark. Right now, we're siloed. You can buy in Australia. You can buy in Canada. You can buy in the U.S., but we cannot sell to each other yet. And the minute those borders open up, it's going to be a floodgate. And one of the interesting things they said in this show was how they thought the 20% fee was really high for Poshmark. And uh, this group, Chris Camillo, was like, oh, no. Do not drop your 20%. See, you need to invest in that in your community to grow and grow your business. And so we all as sellers are like, oh, 20% fee, and yes, we're happy to pay it. But we also know that Poshmark has said in their own reporting that they may have to reduce that 
20% in order to be more competitive and grow. So they're seeing it from a different side in terms of Poshmark and attracting more buyers when they're higher than everyone else. And these people with the money are like, well, yeah, they need that money to expand and grow. So it's a really interesting thing. So I highly recommend you watch this video. It is um, – Really well done, well thought through, talks about all aspects of Poshmark, things that we all know and love. It is quite, again, quite fun and adorable to listen to them be so shocked and surprised by what we all already know. We're doing our videos, and they think that's all part of what's great about the company and the stock, interestingly enough, is that people like myself who have podcasts, people who have big YouTube channels that tell people what they bought, what worked, what didn't. I mean, this kind of activity in a company is rare if you think about it. And I know that if the core of everything that I learned on how to sell on Poshmark and Mercari and all these different platforms is that I went on YouTube because it was easier, faster, and quicker to go there. And plus video is so friendly versus just reading something, um, you know, without a, a video component and how much that helped me. And I'll tell you, you know, when you're first starting a platform, you don't know all the ins and outs of it and you don't know everything it takes to be successful. And it is a grind for sure. And it's taken me years to get to this point where I understand the platform and I'm still not doing everything that I should to utilize the platform to its best effect and advantage for me selling. And I know that and I'm doing well on it. So imagine if I got my acts all the way together <laughs> and started, you know, did all the things that people are suggesting. But again, trends uh, in fashion, it's a moving target, what sells, you know, Lululemon pot one day and then, it, then it's free people and then nobody wants free people anymore. And then free people selling on the Poshmark side. So things all change, but we know, um, as sellers, those ins and outs. And another thing they thought was so exciting or interesting was that Poshmark will authenticate things that are over $500, which um, we know about that, and it's great for combating the fakes. But, you know, sadly, to really get into Poshmark, um, that's a great thing, but Poshmark needs to offer where you can pay an additional fee to get something authenticated because all the fakes are priced around two and $300 on that site. And the bots are putting them up at midnight. I know because I'm up at midnight Pacific time watching the bots put their crap up. So anyway, there's a lot more to analyze and to talk about on Poshmark. And they got into a certain level of it. It's a must-see. It's so interesting just to learn about Poshmark in general, to watch their reaction, to see it from a man's perspective, to see it from the perspective of someone who's looking at a company that's growing. And we are that growth. That's what's so interesting. We as each individual seller combined together become the growth for that company. Our excitement, the more we tell people. I mean, a friend of mine was talking about, oh, I need an extra so-and-so a month. And I said, well, what about Poshmark? I said, you started that because of me. And she goes, you're right. I need to need to do more. I need to keep listing. So, you know, Poshmark has been a savior for a lot of people in terms of extra cash during this last year and a half. And certainly everyone who gets into it that sticks with it long enough realizes there's momentum to this thing and that we're all given a blank sheet of paper and it's up to us to fill out what it looks like. And I keep evolving, Mike, to get more followers and more sales and, you know, more of a reputation on there. And it is a lot of work. I love the work. Um, it's just part of what I do and look forward to growing with Poshmark in the future. So, yeah, if you have a chance, definitely check out uh, Dumb Money Live TV. Just Google that on YouTube, and you will find there's two channels, the Dumb Money Live and then the Dumb Money. You want the Dumb Money Live right now. Um, and the hosts are Chris Camillo, Dave Hansen, and Jordan McLean. And definitely watch this hour-long segment. And uh, I will end with the note where the Mr. Peton Gaines had said, because I just you know, I don't normally catch their lives. I normally just watch it after the fact. And I just saw Poshmark, and I'm like, I need to turn in, tune in. So um, Peter Gaines said, saw my comments, and he says, well, aren't you the person with the closet conversation? I can't speak. Aren't you the person with the closet conversation podcast? And I said, yes, I am. It's on iTunes. And then um, Dave Hansen put that little comment up in the bar. You know, we can see people's comments and then talked about it briefly on the show, which was just fantastic shout out for this podcast. And I appreciated that so much. So 
that was really wonderful because I'm, I'm assuming if he thought it was me that somehow he found the podcast and all his research on Poshmark and um, they did a lot of research. Probably saw, if you do videos, probably saw one of your videos out there. So definitely check it out. And that's it. Uh, this is Jenny Walker for Closet Conversations. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast on Poshmark and them being featured on Dumb Lovey. Dumb, I can't talk again. Let's do it. This is what happens when it's live. <laughs> they have their own problems when they go live. Uh, this is Jenny Walker with Closet Conversations. Definitely check out the Poshmark video on Dumb Money Live TV. You'll really get a lot out of it. Definitely, if you want to learn more, and if you want to learn more about stocks in general or um, the whole market and how people think, because it is fascinating. I'm telling you, fascinating watching these guys. I mean, you know, you'll understand if you're a woman and you watch it. This is just great and entertaining. I don't, I don't even realize how great it is. So, um, but it, it's great in a way that a man can't understand. In my female opinion, over here, it's just awesome to watch them at 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 work, so to speak, and the top of their game, and just loving what they're doing. And it's just like you know, they're there to conquer you know the stock market with their knowledge, and they're doing it. So definitely check it out. This is Jenny Walker with Closet Conversations. Thank you for being with me here today. If you want to get in touch, definitely check me out on Instagram at Jenny Girls Closet. I do check my messages there. If you like this podcast, you enjoyed what you heard today, please give it a five-star rating. Reviews are always great and share it with those that you think might be interested. And I look forward to having you with me on a future episode.